Hey guys, it's Jen, and this is the end of January, beginning of February, which means it is the very first favorites of the year. Now, I wanted to do things a little bit different for this year and do it kind of like rewind style. I don't want to just recap my favorite beauty things, which I of course will do for you guys, but I thought it'd be fun to also mix in some non-beauty favorites, so I'm also going to have like fashion and my favorite thing that I did this month. Let's go ahead and get started. I have been really loving this new eyeshadow palette. You guys probably already know, I'm a big fan of these mini eyeshadows. Anything that's sort of like easy, limited number of colors so that it's just like bam, 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 you have everything you need to do for an everyday neutral kind of look. It just takes the guesswork out of it. I can get really comfortable into doing a specific look on my eyes every single day, and it just saves a lot of time. So what I've been using lately is the Tarte Man Eater palette. I really love this so much. There are six, seven, eight colors. One is this really large champagne-y shade, but the other ones are quite small. The formula is really nice and smooth, really beautiful on the lids, and again, it's a little bit on the warm side, which goes really good with my medium yellow tone complexion. I traveled a little bit this month. This came in handy because it just makes for a really easy palette to take along with me. Plus, it's really small. Love me my mini palettes. It's what I have on my eyes today. It's what I've been wearing all the time. Next, I wanted to move on to, this is also from Tarte. This is the Tartus Pro Glow To Go palette. They have a larger highlighting, strobing, contouring palette, but this is their mini version. It just has three shades. Again, it was in my travel makeup kit that I took along with me this month, plus just wearing it on an everyday basis. And what I like especially about the Tarte highlighters is they're really strong. They definitely don't compromise on the amount of shine there is, but it doesn't seem to give me OF. And by OF, I mean old face. You know how some highlighters just like sit on top of your skin and it makes you look extra wrinkly? I feel like these don't do that. Gleam is a little bit cooler toned, so it's more of a white highlight and Burst is more of a yellow highlight. So just depending on how my makeup is that day, if I'm doing things that are a little more peachier and warmer, then I tend to use the golden shade. And if I'm going a little more toward like pinks on my cheeks and lips, I'll do the white one. Next, I have been all about having fun lippies this month. So I have three favorites. First, I wanted to share the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Tickle Me Peach. I feel like they described it as watermelon on the Sephora website, but it's really like a coral. This has been my favorite to use for doing that Korean style gradient lip because it's a pretty strong pigmented color, but after the gloss wears off, it still leaves a tint on your lips. I just do one swipe on my lips and kind of rub out the edges, and then I take another second swipe and just go on the very inside and kind of blot my lips out so it gives that gradient lip look. I've also been absolutely loving these two liquid lipsticks. I found especially after having a baby, I kiss my baby like all the time, but I don't like wearing lip products because I'm so freaked out about it getting onto her skin. Sometimes I accidentally will like leave some of that on her and it's not cute. So I tend to go for liquid lipsticks because they just don't transfer as much. So I've been really, really loving all of these, but especially this color. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte. And this is what I use in my baddie makeup look. What I've noticed is it looks really light and nude when you first apply it, but then it kind of oxidizes and gets a little bit darker. So if you try these out, just know that it's not necessarily the color it seems when you first put it on. As with all liquid lipsticks, I feel like after about uh, five, six, seven, eight hours or so, it does kind of make your lips dry. It's fine. <laughs> it's just a liquid lipstick thing. 
don't know if you guys have a recommendation for a liquid lipstick that doesn't do that let me know in the comments but i just usually find everything that has the no transfer thing tends to just be on the drier side because that's just how they are and then i also really love this sugar pill one it's what i'm wearing right now i actually just got this like not long ago but it's already something that i'm kind of like every time i look in the mirror i'm like oh i love it so much this is strange love liquid lip color this is part of their collection that they came out with for valentine's day and can i just say the packaging is like so adorable there's this like little kitty cat I don't know if you guys grew up with the picture book, The Stinky Cheese Man. It was like one of my favorite books when I was in elementary school. The illustration kind of reminds me of that, but like way cuter. <laughs> and the product is just really gorgeous. It's this deep burgundy metallic shade and I have literally nothing like this in my collection. So very excited. Definitely going to be wearing this in February a lot, especially for Valentine's Day. Speaking of Valentine's Day, I know I sound super sick, but I wanted to let you guys know my gray studs are coming out with a very limited run of 14 karat rose gold, and they're so adorable and cute, so leave a little hint for your husbands and your boyfriends to give you a gift that is gonna make you super happy, and make sure you order it by tomorrow the 9th to get it in time for Valentine's Day. Love you guys. Next, my fashion favorite of this month, are these brogues. They're AGLs. I don't know if you guys have ever tried AGL flats, but they are literally the most comfortable flats in the entire universe. I wore a pair of them when I went to Paris and I walked like all around the city all day and they were like amazing. I picked these up, I think from like Nordstrom Rack. So if I can find them anywhere on the internet, I'll try to link it down below plus like maybe some similar ones that might be like a little more accessible or affordable. Even if I'm wearing something super casual, I feel like it matches really well. Or if I'm trying to dress up, but I don't wanna wear heels, this is such a great alternative. Since I'm always carrying around my daughter, it's really hard to be wearing like stilettos all the time. I wanna get more into the habit of wearing flatter shoes because if I think about heels and the reason I would wear them all the time and relating to you know me being very very short I like the idea of just kind of being more comfortable with the height that I am and having other people just comfortable with me being the height that I am too so I like the menswear aspect of it you know it's like classy but the pink still makes it super cute. Finally, my favorite thing I did this month was visiting my family in Kansas. My brother-in-law actually got married, so it was a really great opportunity to fly out there. We came to the location for the wedding venue for my husband's brother's wedding. That's Grandpa. Hello. And Arya's looking very pretty in her dress. It was literally Aria's first flight ever, and I was super, super scared because she's only six months old, but it all went really well on the flight. She like slept halfway through the whole flight and then was like really, really good. I had a whole lot of fun on the plane. We did this really adorable photo booth while we were there, got some dancing in, got to see family. My whole side of the family also got together and sort of had a little family reunion where there were so many people there, plus you guys, the food spread. Let me just say for any Asian people out there, I feel like food is like of utmost importance. It makes you feel loved. People cook for each other and it's the way they show each other love. And we had a lot of love going around. I guess that is about it for this month's favorites. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I'll leave a little button thing here so you can click that to subscribe. You can always see more of my videos in these playlists coming up in the end screen right here. I love you guys and I will see you next time.